but what the, the fuck is happening? You gotta kill it. No, or go through its legs or some shit. I don't know. You gotta shoot its head. Oh, you gotta kill the little monkey piloting it. This is really shoot that bad. bitch. Shoot that bitch. Can you control? Oh, maybe you are supposed to hit the head. It's gonna back up. Did you guys, have you ever seen a movie called Dark Crystal? Dark Crystal? Yeah. No. No, what is that about? Um, well, just kind of continuing the whole, what freaked you out as a kid thing. Oh. Uh, this shit freaked the, sh freaked the fuck out of me. Oh, it looks really yeah. weird. It's, it's like a clay animation type movie. Oh, the fucking claymation. And they just... They, oh, claymation weirded me out These entirely. models, yeah, these models are just... Look at that creepy shit. Yeah. I can't really think of too much that weird, that creeped me out as a kid. I know there had to have been at least some... Oh! I remember there was a particular episode of Power Rangers where they went into uh, the storybook or something. Right. And that weirded the hell out of me because they're, like... The villain would appear in the background, but he would appear as like kind of like a still, like a still image or some shit. Yeah. Oh, but like he would still move throughout the book, and like for some reason that weirded me out so much as a kid. Yeah, like, bitch. Um. I was a big uh, Power Rangers fan. <laughs> oh, were you? Oh yeah. Yeah, the same here. I was always a Power I Ranger love, for every Halloween. I was into like superheroes too. Yeah. Yeah, I actually got a concussion because... <laughs> oh, yeah. Because I mean, Power Rangers. This is what happened. <laughs> the Power Rangers punched me in the face. I got a concussion. Oh, well, yeah. When, when I was younger, um, there was a TV in my kitchen. And I was watching Power Rangers. And I tried to imitate one of the uh, moves they did. <laughs> they did. Like a kick flip type thing. Yeah. And when I tried to do it when I was little, I slipped, fell back, and cracked my head on the tile. <laughs> and got a concussion. I think the worst thing is I have a really similar story except I was on the couch yeah. and I think I was trying to imitate a drop kick that uh, the White Ranger did or something and I remember I don't remember how this happened but I remember how it ended and that was I uh, cracked my head on the edge of the fireplace oh, and I ended up having to get stitches. Why is it always the fireplace like he was like, yeah, I cracked my head on the fireplace. Why, why the fuck are you kids playing around the fireplace? Well, it was like... It's like uh, it makes it like twice as dumb. Yeah, we had a weird setup. It was like the couch was near the fireplace and like the on the opposite end of the room there was a TV and like another couch. And it was it was just... I don't know. I just remember I played on the... I, I have lots of weird memories like pertaining particularly to that couch. Yeah. Like seeing uh, Lion, the second Lion King movie... Like, for some reason, I remember that very vividly, seeing the second Lion King movie, because I pulled out the bed. Uh, it was one of those couches where you can pull out a bed. Huh? And I right. pulled that out, and I was just laying there watching the second Lion King. I don't know why I so vividly remember that. Where's uh, the blue hand? I'm trying to remember the other times I got stitches. They were all really stupid. Like, I was running around. My mom and dad both worked at a JCPenney, because uh, when I was around three, they were still 20. So, like, they still had, like, uh, like, teenage, teenage jobs, like, retail and all that. Yeah. And I remember, I think I was just running around of my own accord, and I ran into, like, the edge of a shoe display. And I ended up having to get stitches for that. Jeez. I got stitches one time, because, uh, I was wrestling with my friend in, uh, in his basement. And you know those, uh, those heat, those radiator heaters. Oh those, god, like, the metal ones yeah, that yeah, have yeah, like yeah. segments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I fell into that, hit my head on, <laughs> hit my head on it, and blood started gushing out of my ear, Jesus like Christ. pouring out. It was like a, a lot of freaking blood, and so I got, I had to get a bunch of stitches in there. <laughs> oh, all fucked up. I remember I, me, we used to. I don't know why, but it was always the cool thing for me to like somehow turn my. Uh, my stairs into rides like uh we used to have like a toy chest cover and what i would do is i would put the toy chest cover on the top stair and then ride it down the stairs oh and i would do shit like that and then one time the thing that i did was i uh i put all the cushions and the pillows in the house at the bottom of the stairs and i would jump down into them and like it was all cool and stuff except my friend was way taller than i was 
And so, he jumped up, uh, hit, like, there's this little segment of the ceiling that kind of came down. I, right. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. he hit his head on that oh. hard enough that the his whole body just kind of turned, like, flipped. Yeah. And landed on his head at the bottom of the stairs in between two of the cushions. Like, so he hit the floor. Oh, my God. And there was just blood gushing everywhere. And I remember, because it was, it was my babysitter's uh, son. And so we all had to go to the emergency room. <laughs> what Everybody. The f- what the fuck was that? He just spun around. All right, little, which one of you did this to him? <laughs> a little jig. Wait, what the fuck? I could throw my arm? Yeah. That's so awesome. You're a fucking skeleton. I totally forgot I could do that. Okay, the one time I got stitches in my head was, um... I had this great idea to play with one of my friends. His name was Joe. It was back when I lived in Miami. Um, I was a little kid. I think it was like four. And I had the great idea. I was like, oh, Joe, let's, you know. For some reason, we had these wooden, like, they weren't, they were like tennis racket size, but they were wooden. And so I was like, Joe, let's, you know, let's play a game where we throw these at each other. (laughs) And so I threw mine and I hit him in the stomach. And then obviously I threw, he threw, he throws his and it hits me like a square, like right above the eye. Like I'm pretty sure you can, you can still see the scar. Like it's always been there. Um, and so, yeah, that was, you know, that was my great idea was, oh, Joe, let's play dodgeball with the fucking, these big ass tennis rackets that are made of wood. Basically, you like playing dodgeball with everything but dodgeballs. Yeah, pretty much. Well, dodgeballs have been like, like my my favorite childhood game. Like, well, yeah. same here. But it's weird because like I don't ever remember actually playing it. So like it's just like where did I just where did I get this love for dodgeball? Yes. <laughs> like I've, if I've never played dodgeball, have you died another time on this level? At my college, what? we have uh, we have at the frat house we have drunk dodgeball. Drunk dodgeball. Or if you get out, you have to go chug a beer and then come back in. Dude, that sounds awesome. Yeah, so everyone's smashed by the end, and it just looks really sloppy, and it's, it's hilarious. Dude, that sounds fucking awesome. Dude. Yeah. I need to come play that, too. Yeah, it's fun as hell. I think the last time I got stitches, which was odd... The last time I got stitches is the most pathetic, honestly. Because uh, it happened on Easter, and I wasn't playing around or anything. It was just literally, I was saying... I was... I must have been, like, seven or some shit. I remember I was saying goodbye to my relatives because I was about to go over to my grandfather's house and I turned my head and I hit the corner of the wall. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> it was the you most pathetic around. time. It was the most pathetic time I ever had to go to the ER. Actually, I don't remember if I got stitches that instant. I just remember I was bleeding a lot. And, it's almost uh, as bad as me putting my hand in the, in the ceiling fan. <laughs> in the ceiling fan. They're equally just... It's just, well, because it, it's like I I can't even like lie about that with like a cool story like yeah I or like like no matter how I tell that story or lie about that story it still sounds equally pathetic <laughs> like I I turn and hit a wall oh, I'm fucking retarded you could say you're running I don't know from He's running from my a madman a madman and the worst part is like it happened on Easter also so like uh. it's it's like the most calm day of the year for some reason. Just somehow I turned my head too fast and I, I hit the corner of a wall and I had to go get stitches. The most realist nigga. Oh, yeah, yeah. I haven't heard a lot. My uh, when I was younger, I got my friend swung a baseball bat and like <laughs> hit me in the face and like my nose is bleeding and crazy. <laughs> oh, I do remember uh, my friend. I don't remember how he did it, but we were playing basketball. Somehow his hand ended up in my mouth while we were while he was playing. <laughs> Somehow he pulled my gums, like his nail like gashed it, and he like pulled it, and I was just bleeding. I was like, oh, what the fuck? Oh, and I remember I had to rinse salt water, and it burned so much. He oh. was supposed to stop the bleeding. It didn't stop the bleeding. He got, you just, his hand was just in your mouth. His, he Ouch. like claw, he like Wolverine did or something. Like, I swear to God, for a split second, I was playing with Wolverine. He was like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Claws came out of his or hand. Like, or like he, his hand just went all ghost-like and then materialized back in my gums and then he just pulled it. <laughs> Somehow, his hand was in my mouth, I don't know. Yeah. I, and then I, his I, dick I, got there, I don't know. <laughs> 
Yeah, was my dick cock was, was on it. My hand was on his cock. And and, you know, I just don't even. I don't even know his, how to. Yeah, his dick was in my mouth, and he was chewing gum. <laughs> you know I punch myself in the mouth. What? <laughs> oh God! What? We're waiting for the late bus, and like I think we're we're like blasting some metal song or something. And I was like pretending to like windmill like a guitar, and then he does it, and he like. <laughs> He hit himself in the nuts. <laughs> like, pull on with his head. <laughs> like, he was like this. He was like, he was like... <laughs> <laughs> not, not on purpose, but... Not, not on purpose. <laughs> but then you like, you're like, oh god, and you like rolled into one of the tables. Yeah. And I was like... <laughs> That's pretty pathetic. I was yeah. laughing my ass off. <laughs> oh yeah. god, now I had to think of pathetic injuries? Oh, Nap, that's hilarious. Nap t- or, uh, nut tap your own, yourself. Oh... The first time I ever sprained anything was my pinky. And we were, it was because I was playing football with my dad. But not because I got tackled. Not because of, uh, not because I tripped or fell or anything. It was because I caught the ball wrong. Like, he, th- he spiraled it up in the air. And I put my hand up to catch it. And literally, the ball, like, right at the point, hit the tip oh, of God. my pinky. And I remember just going, oh, and I just couldn't move it. <laughs> oh. I still caught it somehow. I think it bounced off my pinky. Yeah. And I caught it. But, like, I remember I was just in a lot of pain, and I was like, all right. I, and I couldn't move my pinky, and then I realized it got really swollen. I was just like, oh, that's not normal. Shit. So we had to go to the ER, and I, I sprained my pinky catching the ball. We weren't even playing football. That's... We were basically just playing catch. You know what? <laughs> no shame. <laughs> like she didn't oh no, the worst nuts. thing is I sprained my middle finger like a few months later the exact same way just with my friends. <laughs> yeah, oh. You just murdered her. Why the hell do her eggs have treasure chests? Is that a treasure chest bird? Those I frogs? Don't know, but I like it. What the? You Those... just fell through that lily pad. Get get the fuck back up there, Renato. What are you doing? I'm so pissed. I'm so It's another time pissed. that we both got hit like we both got hurt at like the same time because obviously it was it something time. stupid was happening that looks like a cat's legs honestly i don't remember do you remember when uh we were playing soccer <laughs> you know zach about? was goalie and wanted to hit it like punted oh, it right actually, at zach's face. no no zach got hit in the face like eight times within the span of two weeks playing soccer and it got to the point where his no- <laughs> his nose like permanently stayed swollen, like it never went down after that. Like it was just. Well, no, but- hey, Bernardo, what are you doing? I can't even do this right now. <laughs> <laughs> I remember like one time <laughs> he tried to head the ball and hit it in the face. Like <laughs> it was one time where like he literally got hit in the face like three times consecutive. <laughs> It was like water. It's truly it was like want it, and then well, Adam, and then like it. like want it again. Yeah, that's true. Oh my god! Like I was a terrible goalie. I remember that very vividly. I got put in as goalie off for my uh, home team once. Yeah. And it's the only position on the team that I didn't. I told my coach I didn't know how to do. I think. Uh, I think literally someone kicked the ball at me, and I made no attempt to catch it. I was just like. I, I wasn't gonna get it. Like I, I told you I'm not doing this. I told this. you I wouldn't do this. The, I think the. It's on you. No, actually, I think I blocked one. I think I blocked one, and I was just like, "That's it. I did my job as goalie." <laughs> like as far as I was concerned, like I didn't have to block any of the consecutive. I did, I did more like, than I Like I got lucky, I would. and they kicked it over the goal, but it was very obvious that I, I was not. <laughs> like, <laughs> like. I did more than what I said. You made I was, no sign happy. of moving and moving. Yeah, exactly. Line. Yeah, I think the only other time was when I was first put on striker. Like, I, I knew I was supposed to lead the ball to the goal or whatever and, like, kick it to the other striker if I got, like, uh, cornered or some right, shit. Right. But, like, what I didn't know was uh, when the other team gets the ball back, you're not expected to run back to your side and right, get right, it. Right. So I ran all the way back, like, energy. before I, ra- I beat my midfield. Oh to God. back there, That's middle field and I stole the ball again, and I brought it back. And imagine me doing this every time my friend missed a shot. That, yeah, like it's a waste of energy, man. <laughs> oh no, it was a huge waste of energy. But I I sprinted back and forth, and it was just like 
And I remember, like, after we finally got the goal, I was like, God, striker's such a hard job. And then my coach called me over. He's just like, you don't have to do that. You don't, you don't have to do that. And I was just like, fuck me. <laughs> I'm an asshole. I'm pretty sure that's the, that, that's the concept, like, I didn't understand when we start, first started oh, yeah, playing. You, you were a striker. Yeah. Like, my coach, like, our coach, well, like. I was midfield, and that's what midfield does. They run back and forth like bitches. Like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what their job is. But yeah. I didn't but know I that. Would, yeah. I would do that. Okay. See, I was so used to playing midfield and defense. Right, that, right, like, right, when right. I was put on striker, I'm just like, I'm, you don't take the fucking ball from me. <laughs> <laughs> you don't I'm try to slide bitch. tackle the kid at the shit. defense line <laughs> as a striker. Like, it you, was just like, what, what are you, are you doing, doing back here? <laughs> Wait a minute. Well, no, the other team was just startled after a certain point, and I think at a certain point they just stopped taking the ball because they were just like, Jesus Christ, what's wrong with this kid? <laughs> like, I was just full on just sprinting around. Like, I would have died of that, my asthma. It was just bad. Jesus. So we dedicated. Had, we went to a we went to a soccer tournament in Qatar because like the international schools like they have uh, sports meetings with like every other like all the other international schools in the area, and so Christian and I in eleventh grade we uh, went to one for soccer in Qatar, yeah, and soccer. we only scored one goal the entire tournament, <laughs> and like I think like I assisted like. Uh, the goalie, like, he didn't do a very good kick, and so, like, I got it, and I kicked it forward. I kicked it over his head, and Christian, like, happened to be on the other side of him, and then he, like, he just barely, like, headed it Tipped before, it over, like, boy. before getting, like, crushed by this huge goalie dude. <laughs> <laughs> and that was I did get crushed. It was pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> it was so... That was our only goal the whole the tournament. That was the only goal the whole tournament. And we conceded, like, 45. Oh, in my tournament, I think I only made one goal as a striker. And, like, I don't know. I, I stole the ball a lot, but, like, I, I was not making any goals. Like, that was back when I couldn't control. Like, I could steal. Like, that was my whole purpose on the team. Right, like, right. I could take the ball no matter where it was, no matter who was playing. And I would have done anything to get the ball back. Right. Like, no one stole the ball from me. I made sure of that. But, like, as far as shooting went, you were on your own. <laughs> like, I could get the ball to you. That's about it. Like, you better take that shot and line it up. <laughs> you better, I'm not doing shit. You better take the shot, boy. Sounds like midfield. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I do. I, I, midfield was basically what I was born to play in yeah. soccer. But, like, we went undefeated in that tournament, so I, I couldn't complain too so much. So, the complete opposite of us. And I slide tackled two kids. So, That's one good. is a striker, one is defense. One, he was off sides anyway, so I wasted my time. But, whatever. Wait, did you actually die in this level? I actually jumped into the river twice. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was this level. I don't know why I immediately forgot about that. It's alright. You don't gotta remember my mistakes, You're like Frog Forest or some shit? What is this? I'm in uh, Frog Fuckery Town. Or they, they spit, the like, factory. green I love shit the at you. Fuck. I'm in the fuck fuck. Why, why did you jump off? To, to get oh. that, it's like a health. Oh, well, no, team. I know it's a health thing, but I... It looked like you were at full health. I forgot you had that whole extra jar. Oh my god, you fucking little dick. <laughs> it didn't even look like you hit him. It looked like he just disappeared. Like he just got tired of existing. It was just like, well, I'm out. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna go now. I want a piece now. You micro penis. <laughs> micro penis ass bitch. Oh, have you ever had escargot? Yes. Or not escargot. I was thinking of frog legs, but I said escargot. Uh -oh. Escar frog legs. Actually, what does escar go taste like? It's disgusting. It's disgusting. It's okay, disgusting. people like it. I don't get it. Okay, it, it's a. It's a delicacy. It's, it's something a, you have to be used to. It's a I garlicky loogie. That's what it tastes like. It's slimy and it tastes like garlic. Like, pour garlic a little bit. Well, yeah, that's what I figured. It's something. It's like eating someone else's garlicky loogie. That's exactly what it tastes like. <laughs> well, I guess the texture. It. It's just. I think it's gross as shit. People love it. I don't well, know. no, I know. Even if it tasted good, I would hate it because of the texture. Yeah. Because fuck. Well, are, the slugs are dead, right? It's snails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our yeah. snails are dead. Yeah, yeah. But like... And, you know, like suck out of the shell and shit. I've never seen a dead snail that didn't like completely liquefy or whatever. I, I, don't, I don't know how they do it, but I... Jesus Christ. So, like, there's no way to get around that. It's not even her eggs. They're all different things and they're all not birds. I, actually, I would love for like one of them, you push it open and just a dead baby bird falls out and it's just like, oh. I thought at first that's what I was supposed to do and then I was like, no, it'd be fucked up. And then they were actually dead baby birds. <laughs> God, that just reminds me, we had to remove a nest in our backyard and my brother, I remember he panicked because uh, 
it, a baby bird like fell on his wrist and he just like he put it back in the nest and just like just kind of forgot it ever happened he's like nah nigga i ain't about that <laughs> i remember freaking out because my mom was just like oh the, the the mom's not gonna come back to the nest ever again now and it's there's like there's three baby birds just chirping it's just like well we fucked him over. <laughs> Y'all are fucked fuck. him over pretty good. <laughs> Y'all are dead. And to this day, I don't think I've ever touched that nest. Like, I still think it's there. I never, like, I, I was, like, worried I was just going to see ba dead baby birds or something. Can you, why did you change direction mid? <laughs> why would you do that to me? <laughs> Now it's not going back. Oh, you yeah. fucking asshole, dude. Yeah, some of these elements just remind me a lot of Mario 64. Yeah. Jump. Like all, all like the platforming, uh, yeah, type stuff. Except the platforming is really dumb. What the oh, fuck is the sound effect? Yeah. It's the sound of me rejuvenating my anus. Either can way. you, <laughs> can you move? And with that, I think we need to stop playing this. Next time on Ape Paper Gay, we play something else. <laughs> and uh, yeah, fuck right in the pussy. Fuck it right in the pussy. Anything you'd like to add? Uh, I will second. Fuck right in the pussy. Oh, I, okay. I, the you were say, I will suck something. I was I'm not like, gonna suck anything. I'll suck no, it right. No, I'll, no, suck, I'll suck it right. I'll suck you both right now. <laughs> God. Uh, shout outs to Juan, Zach, Jacob, and Nathan for uh, being a bunch of faggots. Mr. Uh, Isley, Mr. O'Leary, George, uh, <laughs> Mr. Mancuso. Wait, what, is, what is it? Gion, it was like Mr. Case, Miss Caster. It was what? like what would he always say at the end of uh, the fucking assemblies? Like, be uh, have a great day, have a week, have a great week. <laughs> and yeah, that, and then be like, be some shit or like be rectangular. Be there or be rectangular. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> be there or be rectangular? Because it's like, be, be there, there or be square. square. Yeah, but he'd he, always he, be like, oh, because technically he, a rectangle is a square, too. <laughs> well, no, squares are rectangles. Yeah, square rectangular. Well, I don't yeah, give a right. fuck. Does, it, does the space of, tell you I give a fuck? Be there or be uh, perpendicular. Uh, be a parallelogram. Be an equilateral, uh, suck my dick, please. Be an equilateral, uh, I, I haven't equal got angle or parallateral. <laughs> para, para, wait, a parallateral. Be, be there, <laughs> be, be there or be a paraplegic. A para <laughs> <laughs> be there or be a, a quadriplegic. <laughs> be there or be a quadroon. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting defensive. <laughs>